trackpad or mouse? This question has bothered all of humanity since the birth of this guy, Sir Macintosh. But right out of the gate, if you use Windows, you should probably get a mouse. Only exceptions being if you bought one of the latest Windows laptops, because pretty much all older ones have garbage trackpads, or if you never plan to game. But what about the Mac? Should you stick with the trackpad or get a mouse? Uh, not this one though. What I do adore about the trackpad is that it's a lot faster to move to and from the keyboard to move your cursor. Or you can even keep both hands on the keyboard and use the trackpad with your thumb. This is perfect for people who write a lot of stuff or suffer from chronic laziness like me. But if you don't want to mess with third-party software, not not having a middle click could be one of the most frustrating things about the Mac's trackpad. At least it was for me. There's no way to do this. With a mouse, you have an extra option to click the scroll wheel, which closes out tabs without having to hunt for the teeny tiny X, opens links in new tabs, and I use it every day. But when you're team trackpad and want to calmly walk out the door, you don't have to think if you put your mouse in the pocket. There's nothing extra to carry since a trackpad is built in, whereas the mouse just takes up too much goddamn space when traveling. But when talking horsepower, a mouse is just faster than your finger. You can flick your wrist and end up on the other side of the screen. Oh, just increase the trackpad sensitivity, you say? But then it becomes so hard to click on anything since a millimeter of movement creates immense thrust and my curve cursor drives past its target. However, the mouse lacks a very important thing, especially for Mac users, the gestures. Trackpad's gestures are so intuitive on a Mac that you'll actually want to use them, like mission control, switching virtual desktops, and so on. Of course, you can do this with the keyboard, but to get the full macOS experience, it's so much more satisfying to use a trackpad for this. What's not satisfying is pain. If you keep swiping on the trackpad for more than 20 minutes, your whole body starts to hurt. But it usually hurts a lot less to use a mouse. Your finger doesn't get friction burns after long work hours and your wrist is safer. I think. What's not safe is chronic laziness, but the trackpad is great if you already have this condition because it makes it very easy to move around your house or lay in bed and consume media like YouTube videos from this random person. It also has smooth scrolling which makes it oh so satisfying to move around websites. Now even though Apple trackpads are godlike and they're very well configured, certainly better than any Windows. Windows laptop I've tried, but they're still not as precise as a mouse. Not even close. I usually just end up wasting so much time because I have to click like five times to hit a small tiny button, so if you have to click frequently, I'd go with a mouse. But let's talk money. You don't have to pay extra for a trackpad because it already comes with your $3,000 laptop, so that's a nice bonus. Whereas you'll have to spend at least 1% of the that sum of money to get a mouse. Uh, yeah. But if you do decide to spend more than that 1% and get extra monitors, then a mouse will turn out to be a great investment too because it's perfect for long workflows or navigating between multiple monitors. So it really just comes down to what you're doing with your computer. While it is without doubt that the MacBooks have one of the best trackpads in the laptop market, there are times where the trackpad is more efficient and times where the mouse is more efficient. It's only a matter of which things you mostly do on your MacBook. If you're merely surfing the web or just dealing with office documents, I'd choose the trackpad. This is especially true if you don't have space to put your mouse, for example when you're traveling, sitting at a tiny coffee table, or maybe laying in bed. But if you need to use apps like Photoshop, Premiere Pro, do some graphic design work, or perform tasks that require you to click rapidly 
rapidly in those situations, I would recommend investing in a mouse. These programs are simply tailored towards a mouse experience and having a mouse will greatly benefit you in terms of saving time and avoiding friction burns. Of course, you could combine the two for the ultimate experience using the mouse to do something like Photoshop work and swiping with the trackpad with your other hand to multitask, switch virtual desktops, scroll and so on. But unfortunately, it doesn't matter if you use a trackpad or a mouse because you'll still be slow with your computer since the most important piece of the puzzle is still missing. Without it, you're like a 9-year-old in the cockpit of a plane. It doesn't make sense. That's why in this video, I reveal the secret of how anyone can turn into a productivity machine with any computer on this planet.